Yo guys, I'm going to teach you how to grow your Instagram account. And if you want to really grow your account organically on Instagram, don't just bounce from strategy to strategy and think that it's going to work because you're not really too consistent when you're doing that. I want you to try this strategy for at least three months and be there every day. Show up every day and be consistent and watch how fast your account grows. This is an organic growth strategy and you're going to grow fast by putting in the work and doing it. So subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on this video. Let's go. My name's Brett Valerino, also known as Lord Ecom, and I've made multi six figures revenue in e-commerce so far. If you didn't already, get into our Facebook group and you could ask all of the e-commerce questions you want and I'll be there to help you out or another advanced e-commerce business owner will. All right, guys, so let's get into the strategy. Let's get it. All right, cool. So first, before you can even grow on Instagram, you have to know how Instagram works. And what you want to do is build an Instagram account around a subject that people love, like fitness, cats, saving the planet, cars, et cetera, whatever your brand is or whatever you're trying to grow an account in. And first, we need to know how Instagram works, like I just said. So Instagram wants people to stay on their platform for as long as possible. And they currently prioritize saves and shares the most the absolute most. So when you're making content, you want to aim to get saves and shares, and then you'll start posting better content for Instagram. And you'll notice how you start getting better results. If you already have an Instagram account for your brand, evaluate your current content that you're already posting. And you got to honestly ask yourself, like, if you were a consumer and you were just soaking up this content, would you spend some time on this post? Maybe give it a like, share it with your friends, save it to come back to it later. Or would you just scroll right past it and be like, wow, that sucked. <laughs> like, I never want to see that on my feed again type post. Like, you need to weigh the options and really just think like a consumer. Like when you're on Instagram, what do you like? What do you spend a lot of time on? What type of captions? What type of videos? What type of pictures? What type of carousels do you spend a lot of time on and you laugh at or you find interesting, you find some value in it and you go to the actual account and check out more. That's what you want to be doing. Post good stuff. Now that you know how Instagram works, you need to optimize your bio for value and for conversions at the same time if you're an e-commerce brand owner or a dropshipper or whatever. So tell newcomers, people who land on your Instagram are newcomers, exactly who you are in a creative way that provides value to them. Let that soak in. Let it brew around. It's brewing. Let it brew. Okay. How does our page make their life better? Just like we were just talking about. What's the reason they're going to follow us for? We need to give them a reason. So what you want to do is tell people who land on your page exactly who we are. But we also want to provide value to them in the bio and our highlights we post. And we want to make our page interesting so that they keep scrolling or they click through a highlight to learn more, to read more. And they see interesting content being posted and they're like, oh, wow, this Save the Planet page is really cool. Seems like they're providing value. It's content that I like. I'm going to give them a follow. That's what you guys need to be doing. And if you guys are like in the dark right now about what should I write for this bio? Like, oh my God, I don't, I don't know what to do. You got to research your niche competitors and go to their pages and see how they're structuring their bios, how they're structuring their highlights, especially if they're selling products that are similar to you or if they're just posting content that's like on a new level and you want to get there, like take advice from them, implement it into your own Instagram and just watch it do better. Like because you genuinely like what they're posting. So get to that level and genuinely love what you're posting yourself. So Here's my first Instagram growth strategy. This is the first one. I'm going to give you guys two of them, but they both work. You just got to pick one, stay with it for like three months or more, you know, but don't give up too early. So Instagram growth strategy. Number one, post one time a day to your feed. And what I love to do is 
I post one hour before my most engaged time for that day on Instagram. And how you can figure this out is literally just go into your Instagram analytics and look at like the most engaged time, post an hour before. Post two reels to your Instagram a day. And this can be like whenever you feel like posting during the day, um, it doesn't really matter because reels don't have a time stamp, which is pretty cool. You do this for three months, do not skip a day or it just won't work as good for you. And if you are skipping days, this is the reason why you're not able to grow. Like you have to put in the hard work and that's what nobody tells you unless you're gonna go run shout outs, all this other stuff, but even that takes work. It's just different. Like if you're gonna organically grow, post every single day, this amount of posts for three months, I promise you, your account is going to grow. And you don't even need hashtags because I'm noticing recently that hashtags bring a lot of spam and fake accounts that follow me. And I removed hashtags from my strategy personally, and now it's working even better for my new account. We're going like 20, 40 followers a day, and it's a small account. Like we started growing like 10, 20 followers a day at what, 100 followers, at 80 followers. So like, it's a great strategy, you just gotta be consistent. But um, if you are posting and you are a hashtag type person and you like posting hashtags, you can post some, but like make it relevant to the post that you're posting, if that's your posting style. So last thing, absolute last thing for this strategy. You gotta be genuine with your content and with your captions. Like you, you cannot be fake or it won't work, it won't, the content won't be as good if you're just fake and like fugazi, fugazi. You gotta like post what you believe in. Like if you wanna post this and you think it's cool and it's good, like go with your gut. Don't just post some trash. Like that's gonna help you out a lot. And just like, yo, real quick, if you're looking for a mentor and you're making over a thousand dollars a month with Ecom or your drop shipping store, I want you to DM me at lord.ecom on Instagram. And I'm only taking on like one or two more students right now, but I genuinely help my students. Like I, I hear stories all the time where a mentor will get paid and then not help them out or take off or like some bullshit and like, I'm not that type of person. I that like that pisses me off, honestly. So if you really need a mentor and you need someone who cares to take your one grand to five or 10 or even one to two and like you just want to get better, learn the ins and outs of e-commerce, what you're doing wrong, what you can be doing right, and just like avoiding obstacles. DM me at lord.ecom for the last time. All right, let's let's grab that Instagram. Let's get back to the video. Let's go. OK, so here is growth strategy number two. And once again, you could pick growth strategy one, but stick to growth strategy one. If you're going to use that, they both work or use the second one, but stick to the one you pick. All right. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be posting three times a day to your feed. And I've personally done this for about three months and this shit works. You're going to make at least one post one hour before your most engaged time for that day on Instagram. And if you are posting on a Wednesday and your most engaged time is 11 a.m., you're gonna simply post one hour before, which is at 10 a.m. And then for the two other posts, make sure they're two to four hours before or after that. So if I'm gonna start my day and I'm gonna post at 8 a.m., my next post would probably be like 12 p.m. And then I might do a 6 p.m. And then if those three times just work out great for me, like that's a great schedule, stick to it and try to post around those times every single day. Or you could even like change it up mildly. Like don't think too hard about it because you might think like, oh, I need to post at the same exact time every day or Instagram is going to kill my account. Like, nah, bro, like it doesn't work like that. I used to think the same thing. Um, you could vary the times you're posting, but make sure it's at good times when people are on Instagram, I guess, or like when people are engaging with your posts, just um, try to be strategic about it and don't think about it too hard. Um, sorry if this is confusing you, but let's move on. So post one time a day to your reels whenever you feel like posting during that day. Once again, 
reels don't have timestamps, so it doesn't really matter, just like when you feel like it. But the two of these working together, like you're posting three times a day to your feed and then one time a day to reels every single day. If you do this for three months straight and you don't skip a day, this is gonna add up. Once again, you don't need hashtags, but you can put some relevant ones if that's your posting style and you want. One more time, just be genuine with your content and your captions, don't be fake. Okay, now this is like the most important part of the video, so definitely don't skip over this. And for any strategy to work, whichever strategy you pick, you need to stay consistent and post every single day or it won't work for you. Like there isn't some easy way to do it. You need to lock in and put in that work like literally grind it out and it's not so bad. You might be like, oh my God, three posts a day, like I could do 10, you know, like, so, so just do it. Okay, so this is the next thing that's like really important. You wanna like, like I kind of mentioned it before, but research pages in your niche with good engagement and just pay attention to their captions, their content style, which posts get good engagement and which posts get bad engagement. And that's gonna give you an idea of like what content's working good and bad for your niche. And then it might even spark some ideas. Like you don't need to copy them, but like take inspiration and put your own type of content out there. Or you could curate content, which is like a whole nother thing. It's basically just copying content, re-uploading it and giving credits to the owner. Like we'll get to it. We'll get to that in a different video. But um, yeah, just like I said twice already, like do this for three months and build off what's working. Stop doing what isn't. That's the biggest mistake that I see people doing. Like they keep doing what isn't working and they're like, oh, I wanna keep this aesthetic on my Instagram page. Instead of just like really getting results, like results over aesthetic every time now until you find out what's working and what's doing good and getting good engagement and getting a lot of reach. Like once you find out what's getting a lot of reach, bro, like worry about the aesthetic then, like not at the beginning. That was like my own mistake too. My dumbass used to be like, oh, I need to make my page look good. Like, bro, nobody's seeing it. <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, and, and the last thing is you must, I had to capitalize it. <laughs> you must post engaging content that provides value to the people who are going to be watching it, your customers, your followers. Because if it's boring and it doesn't provide value, there's just like no reason to follow you. And that's just terrible because we're trying to grow. So um, give your followers a reason to follow you. Hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel and drop me a like if this video helped you out because then you could go back and like watch it again and really just repeat the same strategy if you kind of want to watch it again. But um, yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace.